Okay, Joe and May work at a concession stand. They each earn eight dollars per hour. So Josh, Josh and May. So Josh works three more hours than May. So Josh's hours are three. I'll write plus m. So whatever it may work, plus three. That's what Josh's hours are. If Josh and May earned a total of 120, so Josh plus May equals 120, how many hours did Josh work? Well, since you know you have these two equations, probably the easy, easiest way is to substitute this into this right here. So instead of J plus M, 3 plus M plus M equals 120. So now you have one variable, 3 plus 2m equals 120, and we're almost done. Let's solve for m. So 3 plus 2m equals 120. Subtract 3 from both sides. 2m equals 117. But I feel like I did something wrong because uh, you can't divide 117 by 2. Right? Um, so let's backtrack. Joe and May work at a concession stand. They each earn $8 per hour. Oh, that's the mistake. Um, so Josh worked three more hours than May, right? So whatever May worked, the amount of hours you add it plus three and get Josh. But here, it's not J plus M um, equals 120. It's 8J plus 8M because they each earn $8 per hour. It's not that the J plus M would be their hours adding to 120, but we don't. they didn't work 120 hours. But the money they made was 120. So it's 8J plus 8M. So that means 8 times 3 plus M plus 8 times M. We're just substituting still. What does that do? Well, that just changes the, the work here a little bit. So 8 times 3 plus m is 24 plus 8m, distribute, plus another 8m equals 120. This is 16m. And then let's subtract 24 from 120. We get 96. And in case you're wondering, all right, 96 does 96 divided by 16. All right, that's 6. So what does that mean? Well, may work 6 hours. So and Josh worked three more than that, so Josh worked nine hours, choice two. And you can check that and see if it works.